Welcome to part 12 of the Mega Man Eternal Creators Playthrough. So, in this part, we're going to be taking on the final robot master that we have left, Frigid Man. I've left him last, not really for any other reason, just for the weakness cycle, but he's one of my favorites. Note, I have a lot of favorites, it's hard to tell which one is my personal favorite. So, first thing you'll notice is that here at the Arctic base, this level has an instant fear and death with pit. Don't miss the beat letter there on the right side. But this is the largest pit in any Mega Man game I know of, so yeah. With spikes. All spikes. <laughs> I strongly recommend memorizing that. But here's beat. So, I got all the beat letters, so you get beat. Now, beat can be controlled by a second person if you want, or you can manually control beat. But beat has two functionality parts. It has an automatic phase and a manual phase. So the manual phase will be what the second player could use. And the automatic phase is what happens when you don't do anything. So, beat can pick up items to attack enemies. And, of course, I uh, can follow you. So, note, uh, it can come into handiness to have beat around. Other times, not so much. For instance, there, I lost that lost that item. <laughs> I lost the weapon energy there. See, more of that. Uh, just, just be careful with beat. Uh, beat is very useful. But just be careful. It's very good for a two-player. But, as I said, just be careful. So, I'm just going to go back to an using Anchor Land. Beat's weapon, beat as a weapon is very useful. But yeah, you'll notice here those are Frinks. Uh, just take your time with them. They can get in the way for a while. I recommend using, uh, say, Anchor Lance on them if you have Anchor Lance. Otherwise, Primal Bomb works pretty well, too. Note it bounces right off of them, though. See, beat comes in handy here. All I do is I just sit here and just let beat do all the work. Thanks, beat. <laughs> here we go. Woohoo. Okay, what's up, an extra life? Now here's Raw Walrost, the brother of Walros. Now this is this guy you'd probably run into before you'd run into Walros. Easier, it's an ice themed Walrus, of course, just like it's a Walrus would be in a lot of games. But it's definitely a lot easier than Walros. So, so here, if you uh, one little caveat is that if you have Scorch Flame, you can melt the ice cubes that are gonna fall down. So just be careful though. Sometimes those ice cubes get in the way, and they're a little lucky. But yeah, Scorch Flame is just your best friend in this level. In fact, it will be so useful that Frigid Man will just get his butt kicked by it. Here's the shield attackers. Just as usual, don't uh, don't get too close to them. You'll notice that there's these ice blocks. If you Scorch Flame, you can actually melt those. There we go. A cipher decode can be handy. <laughs> Did you see that? Yeah, it bounced off of one of them and went to the other one. Yeah, sometimes you just gotta take your time with the shield attackers. But if you really get impatient, just use Illusion Blast. It, just, it gets the job done. Here we go. So if you haven't noticed, the song here is actually a hybrid of two songs. It actually is based off of, and it's inspired, of course, by Ice Cap Zone and uh, the song Brave New World but for the, from, uh, where we have Capcom vs. Namco, that's the main theme of that game. If you take both of those, you get this level theme. Here we go, you got Brink again. Here we go. We're almost there, believe it or not. This next part, you want to be very careful. The snow gyros can... Yeah, you just want to watch out for the snow gyros in general here. There's one hit from them, and if you're not close enough to the, to the right side of a platform, you're going to fall to your death. Oh my. There's some nice teles there. So let's get those out of the way. Careful jump. One jump, misfire, we die. So, you'll notice that Scorch Man and Frigid Man's level sort of have an interesting coincidence that they both have ice, or their their respective element at the end of the level. But anyways, I wish I had full Scorch Flame, but we're gonna go into this. So, Frigid Man, inspired by a fridge. 
with a big spike on his head. A big icy spike! And he uses that to drill himself into the ceiling. So, I'm gonna use V to help me get him while he's in the ceiling. So dodge his attacks. And what's that? When he draw he fires off his ice blast, or his frigid frost, they have somewhat of, they have a somewhat randomized pattern, so be very careful. He uses that big cannon to fire off lots of frigid frost. Once he's on the ground, nail him with Scorch Flame, and he'll drain his life like crazy. One thing I do to cut down him is get really close to him and use Scorch Flame, and you just relight it over and over again. Here we go! I, as funny as it sounds, I left one of the easiest ones to last, but you just have to be very careful of that pit. So the weapon we get from Frigid Man is known as Frigid Frost. Now. This weapon, if it comes in contact with an enemy, it will blow up into a bunch of randomized pieces. So, or just pick up a bunch of ice chunks. Leaving us with a ra nice attack that can attack many enemies. The drawback is it's randomized. But here we go, we got base showing up, so let's save and wrap up for the next part.